Hello, I'm Valentin Mandacea from Historic Houses of Romania and I'd like to welcome you to my new podcast and we'll debate today uh, the new Romanian style rend- uh, lettering, how it's rendered on the national style houses, new Romanian style houses. It's a fascinating case of uh, social uh, history uh, and cultural history of Romania. If you go around in Bucharest, you'll see many houses, especially the wealthier ones, the the wealthier classes, middle and upper classes, and aristocrats sometimes uh, named villa, for example, different names, usually women's name. And uh, quite often that is rendered in a kind of special lettering, as we have uh, over here, I have an example for you. This one, Villa Aurelia. Aurelia. I have three examples for you here to give uh, in this podcast. All of them for on houses in Bucharest. Also, sometimes you find uh, sometimes you find this lettering on the nameplates uh, of architects or builders who designed or built that house. It's, as I said, it's quite fascinating to see why we have this type of lettering. Uh, Villa Aurelia, you can uh, read it, most of you who are uh, having your languages uh, rendered in the Latin script can read this, uh, uh, these two words, Villa Aurelia, but uh, it's a kind of a bit of a special uh, script uh, lettering. It's Latin, but with a lot of angles in it and quite wiggly too. That is because it tries to emulate the Cyrillic uh, lettering, not the Latin one. So it's a Latin one, but tries to have a bit from the echoes of the Cyrillic lettering in which the Romanian language has been rendered most of its history, up until the mid 19th century. In late 1850s, early 1860s, the Romanian language started to be rendered whole wholesale into the Latin script. And that went on with this uh, national reawakening uh, movement, the the building of the national state, national ideology. Uh, And as part of those ideas was obviously Romanians are uh, Romance language people of Latin origins and they have to write of course in Latin letters. And uh, the uh, ones uh, which were uh, used up until then for centuries to express the language, the Syriac ones, quickly were quickly forgotten. But they came back in a way once we have this uh, national romantic movement toward the end of the 19th century. Part of it being uh, the idea of the heroism of the Middle Ages which was also transferred into arts and to the national identity uh, artistic uh, currents like the new Romanian architecture. What the new Romanian style house tries to uh, tell you that the house is like a citadel, so the Romanian people withstood the Ottoman Empire and other empires around, and also that there's a Christian people, lots of the elements on the new Romanian style house shows the Christianity of the locals, Greek type crosses, uh, seraphims, elements grouped in three, as we have over here, for example, these three niches. And if the houses are named, uh, lettering which expresses the national time of heroism of the Middle Ages uh, uh, from the times when the Romanian language was written in the Cyrillic script. That's why it is like this. Latin lettering because this is the letters used after 1850s but they try through their form to bring the echoes the times heroic times of the middle ages into this lettering and that that gives more to the identity to the idea of the national romantic message of a new Romanian style house let's see another example this one is Villa Margareta the other one, Villa Aurelia, was from the early 1930s, Villa Margareta, mid-1930s. You can see that the Cyrillic script 
gets a bit faded away. It's recognized a bit in the L's. The A is the most obvious one. Somehow the R and also the E. Uh, so it fades away into these new fashions of Art Deco. And it's uh, harder to recognize, but you know, we can see echoes of it. it these fashions of um, uh, rendering the letters with echoes of the Cyrillic uh, uh, alphabet, uh, it had its heights in, in the 1920s, early 1930s, and already, as we see over here, uh, in the mid 1930s, it starts to fade away as the Art Deco becomes more uh, fashionable. So you can also see the evolution of these fashions and ideologies into the shapes of the letters. Let's see another one. This one is a nameplate for a builder, Simon uh, Moscovich, and his address. And you can see this one is late 1920s. It's uh, more wiggly and ugly, let's put it that way. And more uh, with more echoes of the Cyrillic lettering. So if you look at the U, at the S, uh, V, D, for example, it's like a delta nearly. Uh, so again, as I said, you can chart the evolution of these fashions and ideologies. Um, Moscovich uh, is the grandfather of a big wig French politician of nowadays, Pierre Moscovici. Uh, they managed to escape from communist Romania in 1947 or 1948. It's a long story. Jewish family managed to escape the uh, anti-bourgeois, let's put it that way, and also anti-Semite uh, persecution of the early Stalinist regime in Romania. Uh, so with all of these uh, three examples, and they are immunerable ones throughout the town, uh, we can chart, as I said, the evolution of the new Romanian style the ideology of the national romantic era, how it was played into uh, the modern times, uh, only in these letters, for example. And they are basically peppered around the town on the, those houses. And the best way to, to find out about them and find uh, good explanations is to come at my tours. I have uh, three tours in Kotrochen area where these examples were taken from. Also, I have three tours on the New Romanian style, the early stage of the New Romanian, uh, which is somewhere in the Nequani area unfolding, and also mature phase from the 1920s, where also we, we find many examples of New Romanian style lettering, and late uh, uh, New Romanian st style tour, which is in the Kiselev area, which we can see the transition of the New Romanian lettering towards the Art Deco one. This is the late New Romanian, which also can be seen into the lettering. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, interesting information in, information, in my opinion. And we'll see each other on the next podcast. Thank you and goodbye.